outside of work, outside of family, the thing I do is volunteer. Fire seemed to be so focused on philanthropy and giving back and realizing their fortunate place in the world and making sure that they spread that. It was absolutely my number one choice for a company because of that. Oh, thank That's you amazing. so much. You. Pleasure to be so here. happy to help. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you all, all for being here. Learning about the vision that Matt and Randall had laid out basically the giving back and social impact mindset that's been ingrained into the AppFire DNA from the start was just really important to me. There's also the AppFire Foundation. It was great to be able to, for the first time, donate a meaningful amount of money to Feeding the Hungry Children organizations that we had chosen at the beginning steps of this you know, AppFire Foundation. So it was great to be able to give that report back to Matt and Randall at the end of the year and say, look what we've done. I am giving uh, scholarships to at least three students every year, which makes me feel good. We have multiple of these organizations taking care of. One organization is called uh, People for Animals. Any animal on the street wounded, I am there calling them um, till they come and take the animals. I have a small jewelry business back in the Philippines and for every earring that you buy, you give you know, 10% to the community and to challenged areas. A group that I'm in heavily called the Quaker Town Community Outreach. I'm an everything volunteer. Uh, I also am an event coordinator with them. Their goal is to provide support services for at-risk populations and people who are without a home. And, and anytime we hear of any situation in the community where there's a need, we really try to step in and do whatever it it is that's needed. Me and my family, uh, we help uh, a coding class that's offered to basically adults who are looking for a career change. We were able to take this class for free. I was knocking on uh, Matt Randall's door saying, you know, hey, this is what I'm doing. Is there anything more that I can do? Um, I'd love to be involved with what's at fire doing. I was always curious, what's at fire doing? What, what can we do more? And at the time, we were only fulfilling three of the pledges for pledge one, which uh, is product, uh, profit and time. We hadn't uh, we hadn't made the equity pledge yet. We were about to do that. Um, I think it's wonderful that we hit all four tiers of um, pledge one percent. It's not a very commonplace thing <laughs> at all, um, and it's a remarkable testament to Matt and Randall as our founders that they were so supportive of that from the beginning. They were really authentic. They think about this, this edge one percent is is also important to them. It's not just, you know, something to show on paper. I think it was something that was incredibly important to Randall and Matt. It's a choice that you make. Part of the choice that that we made it as, as an organization is that we wanted to set a standard. It's a natural evolution to our original involvement in the program, and I think something is very very important. And you know, if there's one thing that um, that I've seen in my year here is where when things are important we make them happen. Powerful category four storm. Maria is hitting with 155 mile an hour winds in the strongest storm this island has faced in nearly a century. The Puerto Rico initiative alone, I was a nervous wreck. Yeah. I had no idea what I was like flying into. And I was just gonna fly in there with my own provisions. And when Matt was like, no, no, we'll, we'll help you, we'll chip in. And not just, and it wasn't just Matt and Randall chipping in. It was, it was you, it was the, you know, the rest of the team. It was the team in India too. I was like, that's ludicrous that these people <laughs> only know me <laughs> yeah. and don't know my family and are so willing to just like help in a time of crisis. And I said to my parents, I'm coming with gifts from my second family. And that was a tough time. But Matt was just so supportive. Randall was so supportive. They completely understood like the chaos behind it. and gave me the space that I needed to be there with my family, <laughs> clearing out the streets, fixing the roof, like giving out these provisions to the neighbors who yeah. literally had nothing. There was nothing in Puerto Rico that you can get. That was also a really touching point for me. I was just like beside myself. I was like, wow. It's like our core values. It's, you know, it's not just mentioned once and forgotten. It's, it, you see it all the time. And I think Slack has been a, a catalyst for us 
to do some of these things to the the core values and the pledge one percent because it does make the sharing of information that's both work related and not work related all fit together seamlessly army veteran steve kling the man next to him is syed sadat his former interpreter in the days leading up to kabul's fall syed knew he had to get his family out but on the day it was supposed to happen a clerical issue with his son's siv paperwork forced a heart-wrenching decision leave the kid behind and get everybody else out including his five other young kids or nobody goes and there was a need for a ticketing system and guess what guess what i do for a living so it was a really simple decision that we spin up a confluence and jira instance for this slack group the afghan expatriation alliance is what we started calling it what i was talking to matt and randall about was hey there's this going on and and, and app fire can help jeff pierce put me in contact with atlassian so atlassian jumped in and helped what i did not expect was just how much the app fire family would respond to this i can tell you that over half of the hundred thousand dollars that we raised were raised through app fire through app fire and i never expected that i mean and it oh my god these aren't corporate donations these are personal donations syed's son adil spent a week trying to cut through this chaos to get to the airport he spent several days trying to identify himself to soldiers eventually with kling's help Adil was finally rescued, brought over a gate with a ladder in the middle of the night. Steve got word, Adil is in D.C. He immediately bought plane tickets to get the teenager from D.C. to his family in Sacramento, California. And this, this is what it's all about. Randall called me and said, Appfire is going to pay for your trip to go and, and see Adil, you know, come off that plane and be reunited with his family. And I'm telling you, I mean, that I... I got, I wept a little. I, I, I mean, it was just the, 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 the gratitude, the sense of, the sense of gratitude was just really overwhelming. Uh, <laughs> there's so many things in this life that can disappoint and, but, but then something like this happens and, and it just renews your sense of, you know, humanity. <laughs>